Welcome to our channel, where market analytics is processed with deep and innovative methods. Understanding the markets requires resorting to in-depth academic analysis. Knowing the statistical genetics of investment instruments will mean being prepared for price anomalies. We are constantly working with our entire team to understand the markets. For this purpose, we hope that we will discover new analytics and that these analytics will reduce uncertainties. The questions we are trying to answer are, how is the price performance of the stock compared to its competitors today? Have stock returns hit extremes in the past? What is the impact of negative news on stock volatility today? Analytical answers to these questions can help minimize future risks. First, let's talk about the price change compared to competitors. The percentage change in the share price is extremely important when considering the competitors. The investor monitors the stock's movements compared to competing performances and shapes their investment decisions accordingly. In the gauge chart, the price change of the stock on the last trading day is compared with its competitors in the graph showing the price performance for the stock. Considering its competitors in the market, the yellow color shows the daily percentage change in the share price. The red color gives the average of the percentage price changes in the competitors' shares. If the yellow color exceeds the red, the price of stock outperformed the average of its competitors. It can be said that the company, which is exposed to market conditions including its competitors, differentiates relatively positively in this respect. If red exceeds yellow, the firm's performance is below competitor averages. This is a situation that involves risks about the future of the stock. Let's take a look at the descriptive parameters of the stock, which you are considering trading, in order to take a good position in the markets and evaluate the opportunities. By the way, most of the parameters are dynamics that make sense in the long run. Most of the descriptive parameters were obtained with a deterministic approach. Let's examine the performance of the stock in terms of some parameters. Considering the content carefully, the price-earnings ratio is an important indicator for investors. This ratio is used to calculate the relative value of the stock. This ratio also helps determine whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued. In this sense, analysts use the price-earnings ratio when they want to determine whether the share price accurately represents projected earnings per share. Of course, this ratio is not an indicator to be used alone. It can be used more efficiently, especially for intercompany or periodical comparisons. Instead of sticking to one parameter, it would be a better behavior to make a buy and sell decision by including different technical analysis parameters in the analysis. The price ranges in the daily and 52-week range are given in the table. Investors' perception of short or long-term changes his sensitivity to price movements. In this sense, it is important how long the investor will keep the stock in his portfolio as well as at what price he will buy the share. Sometimes the oscillations in the markets are so severe that relevant prices can be tested sooner than expected. While the daily price range is an important indicator of the buy or sell level of the stock price, the weekly price range provides a more robust analysis capability. The market capitalization value, which expresses the weight of the company's performance in the market, is as in the table. Market cap provides information about the market size of the stock. It is obtained by multiplying the total number of shares of the company by the current market price of the shares. Of course, although this classification is important for a stock career, it does not provide a sharp assessment for buy or sell decisions. Large cap, $10 billion or more mid cap, $2 billion to $10 billion small cap, $300 million to $2 billion. Shares outstanding refer to a company's stock currently held by all its shareholders, including share blocks held by institutional investors and restricted shares owned by the company's officers and insiders. Outstanding shares are shown on a company's balance sheet under the heading capital stock, since the data in the balance sheet and other financial statements of the companies provide vital information about the genetics of the company, they are the most organic findings that affect the investment decisions. Public float value is as in the table. Public float may refer to all the shares outstanding that can be publicly traded. The company's beta value is as in the table. A beta value greater than 1 indicates that the stock of the company oscillates more than the market average. This indicates high volatility. On the contrary, if it is less than 1, it indicates that it has a volatility below the market average. From this point of view, beta value greater than 1 creates a suitable investment ground for risk-loving investors. However, for the cautious investor, the low beta value may be more preferable. In particular, it is important for the investor who will hedge their positions against high volatility to consider the periodic comparison of the beta value. 
Beta value is more useful when evaluated together with other factors that characterize the market. Beta value can give important clues to investors in terms of measuring price risk. The revenue per employee value represents the income per employee. The revenue per employee ratio is most useful when looking at historical changes in a company's own ratio, or when comparing it against that of other companies in the same industry as part of a fundamental analysis. The EPS value, which is an important index, is as in the table. Earnings per share represents earnings per share. The higher a company's EPS, the more profitable it is considered to be. EPS value by itself is meaningless. Periodic mobility in comparison with other companies can be examined. Yield is a return measure for an investment over a set period of time, expressed as a percentage. Yield value alone does not make sense for the investment decision. Dividend value is the dividend payment to shareholders in stock rather than money. Dividend refers to a reward, cash or otherwise, that a company gives to its shareholders. Dividends can be issued in a variety of ways, whether in cash, stock or any other form. Short interest indicates how many shares of a company are currently sold short and not yet covered. Short interest is used as a sentiment indicator. An increase in short interest often signals that investors have become more bearish, while a decrease in short interest signals they have become more bullish. A large increase or decrease in a stock's short interest from the previous month could be particularly indicative of sentiment. For example, when the short interest for a stock rises from 5% to 10%, it may be a warning sign that sentiment is growing negative on a company. Large changes in the short interest also flash warning signs, as it shows investors may be turning more bearish or bullish on a stock. For investors considering long-term trading, increases in short interest rates may be a sign of concern about the stock. Short interest is most useful when looking at historical changes in a company's own ratio, or when comparing it against that of other companies in the same industry as part of a fundamental analysis. Float shorted is the percentage of a company's stock that has been shorted by institutional traders, compared to the number of shares of a company's stock that are available to the public. Average trading volume and previous closing price are as in the table. Average volume is the average number of shares traded within a day in a given stock. It is especially useful to evaluate it together with other indicators. Because the serious increases and decreases in the average trading volume make sense of other indicator signals, when average volume increases or decreases dramatically, it signals that there has been a substantial shift in how people value or view the asset. Usually, higher average daily trading volume means that the security is more competitive, has narrower spreads and is typically less volatile. Stocks tend to be less volatile when they have higher average daily trading volumes because much larger trades would have to be made to affect the price. This does not mean a stock with high volume won't have large daily price moves. On any single day, or over multiple days, any stock can have a very large price move, on higher than average volume. Average daily trading volume is a useful tool for analyzing the price action of any liquid asset. If the price of an asset is range-bound and a breakout occurs, increasing volume tends to confirm that breakout. A lack of volume indicates the breakout may fail. Volume also helps confirm price moves either higher or lower. During strong price pushes up or down, volume should also rise. If it isn't, there may not be enough interest to keep pushing the price. If there isn't enough interest then the price may pull back. After talking about some descriptors for you, let's look at the return performance of the company. Nonlinear behavior is dominant in the stock markets. Here, examining whether the stock return is normally distributed or not is also testing the existence of the Leptokurtic theory, which includes excessive oscillations. Therefore, Shapiro test will be applied to test the normality of the stock. In addition, the Gaussian and Leptokurtic features of the distribution of the return on the share will be compared. When the mathematical statistical aspect of the past values of the returns is examined, it is very important to determine the probability distribution that they fit. Because the returns with a normal Gaussian distribution are those that have not been subjected to a significant outlier pressure in the past. This aspect of returns is vitally important, especially for investors sensitive to risk management. In the return pattern where outliers or oscillations are high, leptokurtic pressures are intense. In this case, it can be said that the stock return has been heavily exposed to outliers in the past and has shown serious oscillations. Of course, the analysis expressed here is based on the assumption that past patterns and returns will have similar genetics in the future. However, as in many investment instruments, this issue is not guaranteed in the stock market. 
If we examine the probability distribution of the return, the stock has performed as shown in the chart over the past week. It can be said that the stock return is normally distributed. This will support the calming of stock volatility. The leptokurtic disposition is weak. When the return distribution of the previous month is analyzed, it is understood that the return of the stock does not follow a normal distribution. This supports the leptokurtic theory. That is, stock returns can be subject to extreme fluctuations. The cumulative return graph is invaluable to have a final idea of the return. An increase or decrease in the cumulative return is an important piece of equipment for the investor. The cumulative return pattern, with a strong upward trend, is a positive signal, in terms of stock performance. A decreasing return trend cannot be evaluated positively. The point that should not be overlooked here is not the increasing share price, but the return. After the increases in the return were eliminated, the downward movement of the stock return was integrated into the chart with drawdown. One of the important analytics that Quants Pro offers to its followers is news impact analysis. With this method, negative asymmetry on the volatility of the stock exposed to any shock or information can be detected. The effect graph is given. When this chart is carefully examined, the effect of positive news on volatility is stronger. For comparison, let's examine the current state of the news impact versus last week. When the two charts are examined carefully, it can be easily understood that the news effect for the stock remained the same as last week. This indicates that the impact of negative shocks on stock volatility did not change significantly over the past week. The volatile movements caused by the uncertainty in the markets require updating many technical analysis indicators and even lead to the use of new technical analysis techniques, which are mainly academic. Based on this requirement, we now present to you the Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci Retracement that we have prepared specifically for the stock. The QP Advanced Fibonacci Retracement allows us to capture signals that cannot be captured by classical or conventional Fibonacci analysis. This will lead traders who make algorithmic and systematic trades to determine their take profit or stop loss levels more accurately. Correct determination of these levels will also affect the net profit of the investor. Please note and take note of the extremely valuable Fibonacci levels, the first and only in the literature, which we will present shortly. When past prices are examined, it can be seen that there are fragile price movements at Quants Pro Advanced Fibonacci levels. Traders who know QP Advanced Fibonacci levels have a serious advantage over traders who use the classical Fibonacci scale. Thus, they will have a stronger immunity to the uncertain movements that dominate the markets. The advanced Fibonacci retracement levels determined by Quants Pro Analytics will change the arithmetic of the winner and loser average within the framework of game theory in favor of the investor. Now let's examine the difference between the classic Fibonacci and Quants Pro advanced Fibonacci analytics from the charts. It can be easily understood that the QP advanced Fibonacci retracement can better detect significant price breaks. In order to create a clearer index in the investor's mind, Quants Pro offers you a hybrid index. This index consists of cumulative return performance, proportional change to competitor returns, and news impact analysis. Quants Pro. Market Insights generates useful analytics. Would you like to contribute to our ability to produce richer content? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it.